everybody's face in the long eyes. Yeah, cause sometimes I can't go home, man. It just ain't the same on the phone, huh? But everybody's gotta go, don't they? So if you need a hero, Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tay. Welcome if you're new. Naomi spent the entire morning deep cleaning her townhouse because we did indeed receive a tenant rule violation due to the trash overload from the Super Bowl party. And apparently we have to pay a fine of 600 stinky simoleons. Honestly, I'm just praying that the property manager comes over because I'm ready to express my opinions real loudly. <laughs> I'm ready to square up, honestly. Like how you gonna say it's dirty and not give me the chance to clean. Like I was in the middle of a party, I was getting to it. But anyways, today is Sunday and I just feel like this is Naomi's little Sunday refresh. Naomi has also decided that she's gonna try out therapy. So she's gonna have a little in-home therapy session today. I kind of just want this to be a self-care Sunday and I'm hoping I make good progress with her midlife crisis. The other day I received a notification that Naomi's yearly checkup was due and I want to see if I can still actually do that. Let me see, healthcare services. The self-care gonna have to end a little bit early today because I want to make sure that your health is in order. Um, Go to the doctor. Oh, we can't even go anymore. So hopefully nothing crazy happens in our health because we definitely missed that appointment. Oh my gosh. And also look at this because Naomi is feeling very inspired. She had her little Sunday reading fresh this morning and she's feeling good. She can no longer go to the therapist. She said, baby, I'm cured. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have to plan that for another time then. I am really trying to get my girl situated and she is fighting me. <laughs> trying to get Naomi's life in order is an actual mess. Like, why is she giving me this pushback? Well, I guess, you know, since she's feeling so good, we can go on a little walk with Ted. What are you doing outside? Teddy, I'm about to lock these doors because why you keep... Ooh, okay, let me calm down. <laughs> this is why I'm not a dog person because cats, you just lock the doors and they stay inside and they're good. He's going laced on somebody's mat. Whose mat is that? Oh, my mat. Oh, he was coming inside like a good boy. Oh my gosh, I love him. He's the cutest. Okay, well, wake up, boo, because we're about to go on a walk. Let me just have her change her outfit real quick. I just put on this little jumpsuit, some slides so we can go walk Teddy. And I think I'm gonna just go on a short walk. You know what, she's feeling real good this morning. Let's go on a medium walk. Ooh, look at me, outside the box, okay. Get up, we're going for a little walk Teddy. He's like always crammed inside the house. He be always trying to run away and go outside. And now when I'm trying to go on a walk, you acting like you just, you just don't even wanna go anymore. Oh my God, these are some big ass seagulls. Like, <laughs> stop, why are they here? Uh, I'm gonna have Teddy chase them. Uh, he's like, I can't, he's scared. Those things are big. Oh wait, maybe I need to leash, unleash him. Unhand me. <laughs> okay, now let's chase them. He's like, get out of here. This is my home. I'm protecting it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Uh, Nancy land grab. No, the property owner is arriving to discuss some violations. Ooh, I knew I shouldn't have Teddy chase that flock. Now I gotta, uh-uh, because now she come over here hype. <laughs> I'm about to call Tay over because I'm ready to <laughs> throw some hands. Don't even try with me. Now he's feeling very focused. Let me invite her in real quick. Look, Teddy hyped too. He was like, uh oh, did she just cuss you out? <laughs> She's like, what are you doing here? Oh my God. Eviction avoided. Oh, 
The Thai household was caught violating the tenant agreement. This time is only a warning, but they might not be so lucky next time a rule is broken or rent is overdue. Reach out to your property owner and choose to pay fine for any broken rules or overdue rent before they evict your household. So you're telling me I'm being forced to pay this $600? Like who came to the conclusion? Because first of all, you came over here and the house is clean. It's spick and span, baby. So like you, are you spying on me? Like what's going on? Because how do you even know I had a party? Oh, just look at her little stinky face. Open your eyes. First of all, she just, <laughs> why can't she look me in the eye? And Tay texted me talking about Kimmy. First of all, Tay, you know me and Kimmy have been friends for a minute. But <laughs> um, if I have to slap Nancy Landgrab, she forced my hand. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Okay, I'm going to just friendly wave at her to greet her like... Ninja. Hello, what are you doing here, Nancy? Oh, we got another person that we met. Okay. Wait, the fact that she likes her, she's like, oh, she is a strong minded woman. <laughs> this one has a very confident, empowered vibe. She's like, I don't know if Nancy is actually this confident or what, but she is doing the damn thing. She is holding her own. Miss Enza Panzen. That's why I love her. Tell a story about clubbing, girl. <laughs> I'm going to complain about the rental conditions because baby boo, how did you know that my apartment was a mess at the party? She's like, it's the next morning and things are clean. I shouldn't have to pay this fine. She's like, do you think I'm a joke? You think I was joking? No girl, you better pay up that money. I'm not playing. This is a business I'm running. <laughs> Stop, because why is she trying to go play pool with her? <laughs> she really likes Nancy. Uh, she's a little bit tense. It says, not going to lie, this place kind of sucks. <laughs> and she does have a hangover from the party last night. And I did force her to clean. And it made her feel better. So that's good. But she's still a little hungover. Good. I don't even have a pool table. I don't even know what y'all were trying to do. Um, This is my new... Uh-uh. This is my new neighbor. He just moved in next door. And he came over here and yelled at my dog. Uh-uh. Let me um give him a rude greeting. Who are you and who do you think you are yelling at my dog? And my dog, look at him. He's just minding his business. Um, Nancy, who said you could go into my house? Ooh, okay, my new neighbor's name is Mike and she does not like him. She says he's egocentric. On the first impression, the sim appears to be egocentric to a fault. No, for real, because he had some nerve yelling at my dog. Like, I'm the only one who can yell at my dog. <laughs> just go away. Get out of my sight, peasant. Okay, so Nancy is just in here, like, inspecting my refrigerator, making sure, I don't know, the water filter's up to date. But, um, where the, okay, rental. Honestly, I just want to get my notice, but I'm not down to, uh, decorate another apartment. So we gonna stay here. But is there anything that needs checking? I don't think so. I just, I've never really messed with this pack. Not even even gonna lie to uh -huh. you so i guess i'll pay the stupid fine for the trash overload you're fixing this yeah. refrigerator that's not even broken just acting it's like you do with stuff in here uh-uh <laughs> why were their arms so stretched out like that okay nancy you got your stupid fine now get out of my house send home Ooh, she's like now get out of here Anyways, Teddy's still waiting outside. He's like, are we going on that walk? Mommy, you said we were going on a walk. Yes, baby. I know you love the outside. We're going to go on a short walk. Or actually, medium walk. <laughs> Stop. He is like so crazy. Anyways, I hope I don't see Malik out here because I'm really trying to get some time away from him. I just think the whole engagement is a little, it's a little much. Things are happening too quickly and Naomi is not ready for that type of commitment. Oh, Teddy's literally so freaking cute. But after Naomi's walk, she's gonna start contemplating her life. And that's good because she really needs to think about this engagement. Like, oof, the graffiti over here. Oh Lord. Oh my God. And there's like tents over here. This is so sad. I've never been underneath this bridge, but like, 
This is sad. Aww. But like I was saying, Naomi needs to think about this engagement because she really doesn't know this man. She doesn't know him at all. And she just can't like, I don't know. There was nothing even there. Like he wasn't her soulmate. He, there was nothing, you know, like she, he was just the drug dealer that she hooked up with when she wanted to buy some drugs. <laughs> I mean, they matched on that dating app, but she was going to hit him up regardless because she wanted to get some weed. And now that I think about it, we never even bought any. Oh, I can hear the airplane. Oh, we are so close to the freaking airport. That seems like a hazard. <laughs> oh, look at this little kitty. We don't have a cat, but we can. Its name is Peanut. Should we get a cat? No, I, I don't want to deal with the litter box. Honestly, I have no place to put a litter box in my house. All right, I think, you know, the medium walk is a little too long for me. I think we're going to start heading home. Oh my God, this cat is in heat. <gasps> There's gonna be kittens soon. Oh my goodness. Bon Naomi's like, I'm about to be in heat. <laughs> She's starting to I'm contemplate her life so again. So oh, and she to let Teddy off the leash. I Teddy hope he don't run away. <laughs> he seemed like the bad type that when he runs Tell away, you call his name and he starts running faster. <laughs> oh, it looks like we have a lot of mail. Let me see what we got. Ooh, I hope it's good. Tay was supposed to have sent me a gift. Huh? Did she give me a vape? <laughs> Is this what's new? I got a vape and I got some starter herbs. Ooh, starting gardening would be kind of fun. I've never really gardened in The Sims, low key. Like it's one of the most basic activities that I never do it. After contemplating her life on that walk, she's feeling very sad and I don't want her to get depressed, but honestly, it would be kind of good because then I could send her to therapy. But if she's not ready, she's not ready. So I'm not going to force it. So maybe we'll just do a little self-care yoga and I'll have her listen to some focused music. I think I put my yoga mat in my gym bag. Okay, I did. I was about to say, where's my yoga mat? Can I put, oh, I can't put my freaking meditation stool in my gym bag. That's not cool. All right, let's just come out here. Oh, wait, let me have her listen to the music first. Turn on a little focus music, and then we're gonna do an energy centering yoga routine. I don't know if this is the right music station. Is focus the one that's like spa music? I don't know. I thought so, but it doesn't really sound like spa music, but it's okay. <laughs> Look at Naomi's little toe socks. <laughs> Oh my God, Lauren's calling me. You're ruining my Zen moment. It's good to hear your voice, Naomi. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Katrina Letharaho a little bit better as a friend. They seem like good company. Uh, honestly, she looks like a baddie. You should go for it. <laughs> I can just hear Teddy. Oh my God, where is Teddy? I can hear him barking. Why is he? Oh my God, he's like, are you my new daddy? <laughs> I've seen you at the other house wrestling with my mama. Teddy, if you don't leave this man alone, go back inside. Don't invite him over. He's going to look over and see me on the patio here and be like, oh, look at that little thick booty. <laughs> Please. Oh my God. Wait, is this how God feels? Because <gasps> what are we about to witness? Look at Naomi. <laughs> look at Naomi. She's like, I know damn well that girl's supply ain't out already. What is going on? <laughs> Stop, I need to move out of an apartment because this is messy. Teddy over here barking like, who is this wench? <laughs> and why is she talking to my daddy? I'm not gonna lie, I did try to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, he's a drug dealer. People are gonna come to his house. They're gonna, you know, hang out with him. They're gonna talk to him all the time because people are crackheads. This is like my third time catching them mingle and I'm not, I'm not liking it. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to play my girl, Naomi. Honestly, I don't know what I expected because he did propose to me in the ladies room at my job. So the bar wasn't set very high, but <laughs> Naomi's feeling energized. She feeling hype. She ready to throw some hands. I'm gonna just come over here and start a little drama. I'm gonna argue about a relationship. Let's do that. Oh, and she got the focus music still playing. Go ahead and turn it off, girl. Look at the way she walking. <laughs> All I did was get her energized and hyped up <laughs> enough to fight. She's like, what is going on over here? Why are you always all up in this girl's Kool-Aid? <laughs> He's like, why are you coming over here with this loud mouth? You embarrassed me in front of my company. Oh! Uh, because she is me. 
I feel like that's something I would do. Oh, she's like, okay, um, so your name's Teddy? <laughs> You're such a good boy. She is completely unfazed. She's like, I do not want that man. <laughs> he is a DJ at the club that I work at, okay? That's, that's all it is. <laughs> Naomi is not trying to hear it. She's like, I already know. I know you cheated on me, and it's, it's not going to work. You know what? I don't even want to do this anymore. Not Mike coming over. Is What is this? Like, a neighborhood meeting? What is going on? This is awkward. Why is everyone coming over here? Leave me alone. So he clearly does not want to try to make this relationship work. And I don't have the time. I don't. So we're just going to break up the engagement. Oh, I found a better interaction. Ask to break off engagement. Let's do it. Look, and he is talking to her right through me. He doesn't even see me. She's like, so I think that we should actually break off the engagement. Oh, this is actually happier than what I intended it to be. Okay. Wait, no, I wanted it to be a big scene. Oh my gosh, no. And then he's gonna start flirting with her right in front of me. Please, and where are you going? I just broke off our engagement. Why are you running into my house? What is he doing? He coming in here to, he coming in here to smell my dirty drawers. Oh my God. Honestly, that was slay. That was a little bit husband material. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, he came back outside. Oh my God, why did we gain a sentiment? You know what? I'm gonna have to send you home. Like, Naomi, you're not, stop. You're, stop. She just wants to get married. That's all that she wants. Well, I actually planned for Naomi and Jen to meet up because I want them to take a cooking class together. So I'm gonna have Naomi come in here. Let's change her outfit. It's a little hot outside, so I think I'm gonna go with this and then I'm gonna have her come in here and let's freshen up a bit. Hopefully Jen can talk some sense into us because I don't even know what Naomi is thinking right now. Like she has a bunch of mixed emotions. I don't know what to do with her. Ooh, okay, all changed up. Let's do our makeup. Ooh, put that perfume on, girl. All right, I'm gonna have Naomi finish getting ready and then I will see you guys at the cooking class. I ended up changing Naomi's outfit because I want her to wear a little apron for this cooking class. And as you can see, Jen is here. I'm super excited for Naomi to hopefully get her skill up. Naomi is greeting Jen here and I'm gonna have Jen start off with um, giving Naomi some cooking tips because we don't want any fires going on here. Oh, we learned that Genevieve no, yeah, likes a hugging. She's telling her some crazy story, it looks like. Was that about a cooking tip? Oh, the people are running because it's actually thunderstorming. Like, we chose the worst day to do this cooking class, but... They say too many cooks will spoil the broth, but remembering all those cooking jokes fills Naomi with laughter. Oh, they're having such a good time already. Uh, we're gonna start this party off right. Oh my god, I didn't realize that Naomi was so tired. She woke up too early to clean. But let's um get some drinks. Ooh, I want to do gin and lime. I think that sounds good. <laughs> What is hanky panky? <laughs> okay, let's do gin and lime. I feel like $204 is gonna be the price for like this whole entire cooking class experience. All right, and we have um, the cook here. We're like the only people in this class. Everybody else was smart enough to not want to come in a thunderstorm. Why is Jen just here talking by herself though? Also, we need to be in a group. Now tell me these don't look good. These look scrumdillyumptious. Okay, I'm gonna have me and Jen drink. Like there's so many people here because there's actually a restaurant upstairs. So just don't mind them. But me and Jen are gonna have a drink. She's like, come on girl, let's get a drink so we can get started with this class. And the cook is like, yes, we'll be getting started soon. Oh my God, she is so gorgeous. Wait, she's a sleigh. Who are you? This is the finest little granny I have ever seen. Like, please, can I get your number? <laughs> okay, oh, I accidentally made her get two. Okay, I can see how this cooking, oh, I can see how this cooking class is gonna be. This guy is cute. Uh, I'm just gonna give him a funny introduction because like I have two drinks in my hand and he's gonna be like, damn, like, <laughs> I feel like she would just make a joke. Oh, Naomi. Oh, this lightning is scaring me. Get off of your knees. <laughs> Please, we just <laughs> met him. <laughs> oh, but she thinks he's childish. She didn't like him. Okay. Jen, 
please, you're not about to use your portable computer. We're gonna start prepping ingredients. Let's start with some dough because we're making pizza. Once Naomi finishes hers, we can do it together. I wonder, is there a way for me to join her cooking? Cause I think it would be fun if we did it together. I don't think so. Um, I don't know if we should be taking instructions from this lady because <laughs> this don't seem right. Oh my God, Naomi is drunk. Um, she, she headed into the market. Please, Jen was headed for the door. <laughs> we are not going outside, girl. She's like, yeah, thank you so much for coming out today. I'm just feeling really down. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this engagement situation. And it, <laughs> look at all these people running. I can't take them seriously. Oh, look at Naomi. Jen's like, girl, I feel you. Whatever you choose, I'm gonna be here for you. I feel like Jen is trying to be consoling, but at the end of the day, she's really scared of this thunderstorm. <laughs> she's like, I hate thunderstorms. She keeps trying to leave. I'm like, girl, please. Oh, but it looks like Naomi ended up giving her good advice about something. I don't know what Jen was going through because I thought we were talking about my problems, but <laughs> look at me being just a good friend. I cheated Naomi's energy a little bit because she is not going to sleep. I'm gonna bring them back over here because the dough is done so we can start making some pizza. I'm gonna collect these ingredients. And then Jen's like, okay girl, I will get your batter started over here for the dough. Ma'am, why are you eating the dough? This is, this is dough for pizza. Why do you act like that? Like the way that you act, you don't you don't see how you act why people don't want to be around you. Okay, let's start making the pizza. Um, because we don't have very high skill, we can't really make much. But I think I'm gonna do the pizza margarita. I'm gonna have Jen come over here, and she's going to make. Ooh, she can make a lot. Okay, let's do. Ooh. Okay, let's do this garden pizza. Here Naomi goes. This girl is a little too close to me. Have you heard of six feet? Thank you. Who is screaming? He's screaming at her. She's screaming at him. Y'all, y'all are scaring me. I need to move this because y'all are too close to me. Oh my God. Are things okay here? Okay, she said I'm a pro. A break. Oh, but our pizza's done. Smoke I'm so happy. <laughs> Stop, they are so cute. Friends. How many of us have them? All right, um, right, let's collect the meal. You're too close to my pizza, ma'am. This is mine. I made it and it looks Ew. delicious. What <laughs> are you doing, sir? I think. <laughs> He's scared from the thing, please. And Jen is leaving. She's like, please stop. Why is he screaming at me? <laughs> stop. First of all, I just had to jump scare because I just saw this man's wee wee hanging out of his back. Also, he's a restaurant critic and he's taking a shower outside, sir. And okay. <gasps> Naomi, <laughs> she's outside. She's like, that's all I needed to see. I just needed to see a man's dingling outside in the rain. And yeah, I'm gone. I'm packing my bags. It's time to go. <laughs> well, I know it's raining really hard, but we're in San Sequoia and we can go to this movie theater. And I feel like maybe once the movie's over, the rain will be over, you know? Oh, this is a romance movie. Okay, I'm gonna watch The Princess Cordelia's Pirates. I'm gonna see if Jen will join. I don't know if she will though, because it seems like she's trying to leave. Oh, Naomi is so drunk right now. Like how, I I have the thing, so she's not a lightweight with drinking, but <laughs> for some reason, she's still a lightweight. All right, I will see you guys after the movie's over. The movie ended and the girls are just out here talking. <gasps> oh my God. Look, Naomi's like, I don't want that to happen to me. I'm trying to run inside. Okay, yeah, you know what? Stop, stop talking to her about your problems. Let's go, let's go. Go into the car, bye. <laughs> oh my God, so, okay, we're, wait, we're, we're home? But there's a fire? Somebody's, oh my God, Malik. I think this is, oh my God, Malik. Ah! Well, wait, why am I stressing? That's not my house. 
that's not my house. I don't, that's not my fire. That's not my problem. Hopefully somebody take care of it though. Teddy, you better get your tail back inside. There's a fire over there. Come over here, boy. <laughs> oh, I know this is uh this is Pamela's house, Peaches. Oh, see, they told you we're not even allowed to be having uh barbecue pits out here. That's that's breaking the lease agreement. Explosive malfunction. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, I need to move. <laughs> Explosion. Was it faulty wires? A gas leak? Unrec. Uh uh. They've been putting the tongue twisters in this. Either way, how terrifying. Call the property owner to sort out the issues or take care of the broken object. You're I'm not taking care of the broken objects because this is not my broken object. This is not my problem. But I'm going to call the fire department. That's what I'll do. I'm going to stay. No. We stop. Why are you going over there? We're going to stay in the safety area. And she bring a teddy with her. Oh, <laughs> please. Oh, we can't even get to it. Oh, look, we didn't even need the fire department. We got a fire system. Okay, they gave me $40, even though that's not my house. Anyways, I'm just gonna have Naomi come over here and sit. We do have our pizza, so I'm gonna have her take a slice, but I want her to just have a heart to heart with her sister. Since she feels she doesn't need therapy, I feel like she needs to listen to somebody who has her best interest at heart. And I think that is her sister, Tay. So I'm gonna have her give um, her, not a drunk text. You know what? She is drunk. Let me send her the drunk text. <laughs> and I feel like after that, um, Tay would call her and be like, girl, what is up? What are you doing right now? <laughs> There's going to be a lot of spelling errors. And then Tay's going to be like, girl, what's going on? <laughs> oh, she's uncomfortably wet from being outside in the rain though. She's really tired. It says fire is out. She's tense because why was there a fire? That is crazy. Like what are the odds of a fire right after a thunderstorm you know it's probably that lightning probably struck over there oh but she did really like the movie it got her really flirty too all right so naomi is on this facetime call with tay and i just feel like tay is like girl what is going on with you like can we just talk because i feel like there's so much happening right now and i don't even know who you are anymore naomi would just like open up and tell her about her midlife crisis and how she feels a little bit envious because she's tay's big sister and it feels like tay has done way more in her life than naomi and tay would just be like your story and your journey doesn't have to look like anyone else's because it's your life the things that happen to you is not necessarily gonna happen in the same order as someone else. You still have so much time to live and things are gonna happen when they're supposed to happen. If you really feel like you need more excitement, take a vacation. But settling down and getting married to a man that you don't know isn't the answer. Okay, after that call, Naomi is sobering up a little bit. She's only tipsy, she's not wasted anymore, but there's this explosive malfunction that we have to deal with, um, which honestly, it sounds like a personal problem. Like it's not my thing, but um, let me just call the landlord over. Why do I have to do everything around here? She's like, um, a fire broke out. Somebody needs to fix something. Whatever is broken. I don't know. They're like, well, what, what unit is it? I don't know. That's not my job. <laughs> this is your job. You said you was the CEO of this business. All right, let me just call over Miss Nancy Landgrab. She better be here with the quickness. Oh, wait, 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 girl. No, 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 no. Oh, she's trying to clean up a plate. Okay. Uh, I thought she was going to eat that. Let's eat a serving of this pizza. Um, is she here? She's not at my house. Oh, there she is. She's like, hey, you called. What's going on? You said it was an emergency. Oh, she got her tool belt on and everything. She didn't come to play. <laughs> She's like, hey, girl. Yeah, something broke. The, the thing that's broken isn't even on here. I guess I'm going to just tell her the electrical fuse box or something. I don't know. It's, it's this over here, but <laughs> this ain't my house. Yeah. Packs glitched. <laughs> What's new? I'm gonna tell her to go to go do that. Um, but whatever. Okay, I'm about to have her start getting ready for bed. <laughs> okay, she can entertain herself with that. Um, because I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, and she's feeling very uncomfortable. You know what? Let me um come in here and shower first. I just take a a breast shower and then we're gonna brush our teeth and then we can change our outfit and put on our sleepy clothes. Okay, she out here taking notes, um, fixing this this box that ain't even broken, but <laughs> go off, sis. All right, changing into our sleepy clothes. Let's brush our teeth, and then we are going to bed. 
I just want to mention that in order to complete the explosive malfunction, I had to replace the barbecue pit that caught on fire, which note was not my barbecue pit. And that cost $1,200. And then afterwards, I get this notification talking about the property owner sent you $122 for helping you address the, don't play with me right now. <laughs> because Nancy, when I catch you, bro, it's on site. <laughs> it's on site. <laughs> I wanted to make progress in Naomi's midlife crisis and we did because she completed one of her desires for the midlife crisis, which was to meet six new Sims. And she received a new desire, which is to become closer with a family member. The only family member she has is Tay, which is so cool because like, I'm really ready for them to let bygones be bygones and Naomi can be, you know, my little auntie. She can take care of Penelope, do some babysitting. As long as Naomi decides to act right, you know, I'm willing to have her in my life. Tay talking about a vacation really got Naomi thinking. So I think she's gonna take a few days off of work and pack her bags and go on a little girl's trip. We're looking to make a new BFF. And I think that Monet from the last episode would be an amazing add on to Naomi's friend group. So maybe I'll do a little girl's trip. Comment your suggestions on where you think that we should go. But that's gonna be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye!